I L two. 1950. Yes, 1950. The Jet Age with pistons. And we're going to be flying with a fleet air arm. And it's going to be my first flight in the Hawker Sea Fury. Alright, we'll be flying for the FAA 807 Squadron Fleet Air Arm. Our mission is to take out a rail bridge in North Korea. And they're not expecting us from the Yellow Sea. And there's our ride of the day, the Sea Fury. And its power plant is a Bristol Centaurus 18-cylinder air-cooled radial piston engine. 2,480 horsepower. And it gets you where you need to go fast. All right, we're on station. We've reached the rail bridge. We've given commands for our entire flight to make a run on the bridge. So we're in with two large caliber bombs. Four second delay. Bombs out. Oh, we got a direct hit on the bridge. And you can just feel the power and torque of that 2,480 horsepower engine just pull you right back up to your original altitude. Guns out. And it's a bad place to be if you're a North Korean twin-engine bomber pilot. Splash one. We've given commands for our wingmen to engage these aircraft. Let's get lined up. We're armed with four Hispano cannons that are just spot-on accurate. Break off, scored some good hits. Oh, and the enemy aircraft collided. Splash two. Get out, man, get out. It's like Normandy, you know, those parachutes. All right, it's going to be a dog pile on the uh, remaining uh, PE2. We just close on it super fast with our high-powered engine. Let's get a deflection shot going. Our wingman also hit the aircraft and scored some more hits. We're going to break off. All right, a pretty successful mission. We're going to take it back to the boat, HMS Virosis. I probably didn't say that right. On final, and this aircraft is extremely impressive. Incredible acceleration, firepower, and, and bomb load capability. I don't know why I haven't flown this aircraft earlier. However, it is a challenge to land on an aircraft carrier. Because when you get low in speed, uh, the plane starts to shudder, so you have a tendency to push that throttle forward. We're on final. Let's throttle back. And yeah, we got a good trap. Mission victory. All right, I like mission victories. Well, this aircraft did most of the work. I'd have to say it's one of the more impressive uh, planes in the game. And I'm going to be flying it more. Really fun, really powerful, uh, responsive. Uh, spot on when you 
trying to line up a shot. Doesn't shake or wander at all. And four 20 millimeter Hispanos help with a pretty good loadout of ammunition. All right, let's taxi to the number one elevator. Let's go ahead and shut her down. All right. There is one awesome carrier-based five-bladed propeller attack aircraft. All right, let's check our score. Okay, we hit the bridge and uh, destroyed it. Um, got credit for three air-to-airs, big fat bombers, easy targets, and we blew up a truck. Well, guys, uh, in the jet age, uh, this aircraft is under uh, piston aircraft, of course. Uh, I'm going to see if it's in the regular game. It came out in 1947. Uh, Post-World War II type. All right, guys, we're going to close off with uh, the gratification cam. You can see those big hits. And we'll get some shots at a distance as well. And it's a dog pile. There goes our wingman. Another big hit. All right, guys, we're going to end with the CV trap. Um, pretty good approach. And not, not a bad landing, pretty smooth, even though the speed was a little bit higher than normal. Well, guys, I hope you like this flight. Uh, if you like IL-2-1946 uh, videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you up again soon.